Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Coach Hadassah here. And I wanted to share something. I was thinking about um, appreciation, right? To appreciate or the word itself, appreciate. Uh, there was something that I saw yesterday and, and it, words. Let's just start with that, words. Like, we use them, but... um. You know, we, I think we have to know what they mean, like what they truly mean so that we can know how to use them. So I say, we'll say something like, you know, oh, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate you or I appreciate this or, you know, things like that. And I mean, of course, it's, 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 it sounds, it's, it's good to say, it sounds good to say, um, but how do you truly appreciate something or someone? What does the word appreciate mean? Appreciate means to add value, to improve, to fix, to restore, to maintain and keep up, right? That's what appreciate means. So say for instance, you know, um, there's a difference between like with a car and with a house. Uh, you drive a car off the lot just to test drive it. It depreciates in value as it's being test driven. Like it's not even bought yet. <laughs> you know, it's like, let me test this out to see if I want to buy this car. But it depreciates in value because of the mileage that's put on it even if it's just around the block, right? A house, on the other hand, it can appreciate in value. Well, why is that? Well, because of the things that you add to the home. You know, if you, 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 um, you do something to the yard, right? Like you keep the yard up and and you get a new roof every 10 years or so, you get, uh, you know, you add your new furnace and, and central air unit in, you paint the walls, you, if you need to fix the walls, um, you know, new floor and that homes can be like, you know, outdated. And then you bring in new things to update the house, to make it more modern, right? Anything that you add to a home that once you leave, you don't take it with you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like the floors and the baseboards and, you know, stuff like that. We're not talking about pictures and furniture, but the things that you would add to the home that when you leave it, it stays there. It That adds value because you left it better than you found it right? You left it better than you found it by what you added to it for that to stay, right? To where when other people come and maybe they look at it or, or they want to live in it, you know, they can enjoy it, right? So when we say we appreciate, do we really appreciate? Do we appreciate ourselves? How do we add value to ourselves? How do we maintain and sustain ourselves? And let's just talk about like outside of, of clothes, right? You know, um, of course, there's the grooming aspect, aspect of, you know, like upkeep where, you know, you, you, you do your hair and you take a bath and and, you know, you wash your face and you brush your teeth, you know, the, the hygiene part, you know, but how do you add value as far as your health? Because this, this is the living, moving, walking tabernacle that we didn't even create. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So how do we appreciate the body that we was, that we were given to, live in and move about this creation to carry out the purpose for why we even came here. How do we appreciate? 
right? How do we, um, you know, maintain our health, our spiritual health, our psychological health, our mental, our emotional, right? As well as physical, our, our social, right? The people that we, you know, we come in contact with, whether, of course, you know, their first point of contact is our family, right? Um, and then, you know, our friends and associates and, and, um, you know, the people that we would, uh, work with and, and, you know, all of that, how do we appreciate that? How do we appreciate the materials that we have in order to build our lives? How do we appreciate our finances? How do we, how do we really truly appreciate it? What do we do to add value in all of those areas? But we have to start with one thing first, which is our spiritual health. Then that moves into psychological and emotional and mental. How do we appreciate it? How can we appreciate others if we don't appreciate or add value to ourselves? How do we add value to our mind? What do we do to add value? There was something that I was watching yesterday and um, it was the way that he said it, but basically the way it was said, it just reminded me of the scripture because that's what he was referring to. You know, that, um, you know, uh, man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word, right? Like our souls need Word food. <laughs> That's soul food, right? Word, words, but words that add value. Words that add value. Words that improve upon our minds. Word that improves upon our condition. Words that improve. What are those? How do we go about doing that? What do we listen to? And say, what if we were behaving in a way that was devaluing ourselves and then someone comes along attempting to add value by correcting the behavior and we don't like it? They're really attempting to add value, but then we don't want that. Because we may be used to word candy. I'll tell you about the process. You know, we just had Halloween. Everybody eating sweets and, and, and candies and all of that type of stuff, right? What if we had to live on a diet of that? a diet of candy. I don't think we'd be healthy, right? That doesn't make for good health. There are some things that are really needed for our health that ooh, we don't like. It is bitter. You ever had castor oil? Lord have mercy. I remember my, um, my, my, my twins when they were babies. And I, there was just a bout of flu just ripping through the house, but it was just all over. And um, we gave them some castor oil. Oh my gosh. They hollered and screamed like someone was killing them. <laughs> you know, like ah! castor oil. But I'll tell you one thing it did. It knocked that flu out like that. Before it could even really take hold, it knocked it out. Castor oil. It's like, oh, I don't like it, but it can get rid of some viruses that's trying to take over the body, right? So um, that's something that I just was thinking about. And because it had been lingering on my mind for at least two days, 
I'm like, okay, if this is still here, this is not only for me. This is for me to be able to share. So I hope that I added value to you by sharing. Um, if not, that is okay. You do not have to eat this word food at all. We're all, you know, responsible, accountable, and everything for our own diets, right? Even our word diets. So you all have a great day, right? Be great. And now I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to go out here and get on morning motivation. Oh my gosh, what is Tony doing? Lord. Thanks to Julian for that. It was amazing. Oh my gosh. But okay. Now so you the all train's have a coming. It's telling day. me it's going to home Peace. for at least the next 20 